everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Adam from Thirsty Plum Baby. So, I am at my house in Taiwan and I have been in isolation for about 10 days now. So, I still have five days to go. And today it's time to do a plum haul video because I have been so bored uh, besides doing my work. Um, I have been shopping plant shopping in Taiwan, which is very exciting because I've never ever bought plants in Taiwan when I was living here. Um, only until the last five years, which I was living in Australia, so I basically have no experience of buying plants in Taiwan. So it was definitely something new for me. And it's really interesting to see how the plant industry goes in here, especially the rare plants in the streets. Um, so I just want to say a lot of rare plants that you see in Australia are not rare plants here basically because Taiwan is in a tropical area so a lot of these plants are basically not that rare at all also I can get them for a fraction of price which is very exciting for me but then knowing that I can't bring them back to Australia is really sad so so that's just, you know, when you live in both countries and you just, you just can't have it all, okay? So basically, I will have two collections, one in Australia, one in Taiwan, and that means I have to come back here regularly. The good thing is the tropical climate here will actually take care of the plants for me, and so there's not much I need to do for them to live here to survive. So anyway, let's get started. So I have opened up a few plants already. If you follow me on Thirsty Plum Baby on Instagram, you've probably seen that in my stories. But today I'm going to show you what I've opened up and also two new boxes that just arrived. And because I didn't know that how many plants I'm getting, obviously it's, it's unpredictable. So. so it's been 10 days and I think I have enough to show you guys in one video. So that's why I'm here today. So, we have, so first up we have this and Ethereum Crystallina is such a beautiful piece. Um, so they are five plants in the original box, okay? I took one out, I put it in one of those um, Ethereum Crystallina plants pot that I have in the bathroom. So I only have four here, but it's still massive. You just see how many roots in here. It's actually crazy. Um, it's currently sitting in diluted sea salt water um, because I'm still waiting for my self-watering planter so I don't know how long it's gonna take I think I might need to pot it in somewhere else first because I don't know I don't know if because surviving water for this long but I don't want to repot so many times I don't think I'm gonna tell you the cost I don't even want to remember because every time when I go back to Australia I see those plants I have I'm just like Ugh, why do it cost so much in Australia so yes we're just gonna leave it there we just appreciate the beauty of them not the price tag okay how about that so this is my beautiful Anthurium crystallinum. And next up, we have a Anthurium clarinervium. It's so bloody cute. Look at this. I just have this love for Anthurium clarinervium. They are so beautiful. Like the structure of them, the leaf is so rounded. It's just so cute. The sword of all. Um, this one, there are two in here. I actually got two because why not? I want a bushy one, so that's why. Um, this one is really small. Actually, I didn't expect to be this small because of the leaf. The leaves are pretty mature looking in the photos. So I thought it's gonna be a big one, but it only came like this tiny. But it's still bushy, it's really good. It has new growth here. This new leaf is hard enough at the moment. And there's also another one coming through, which is really exciting. So yeah, it's sitting in a moss and, and just in a glass jar. Because again, I'm waiting for my self-watering pot. And I think it's doing okay. It's not dying, not rotting, nothing is happening. So it's definitely going to stay here for a little bit until I have somewhere to pop them. Really excited for this. That is that. If you want a hardy Ethereum, get a clarinervium. They are very hard to get in Australia. I have two in Australia, but I don't know why they're so hard to get there. But they are really easy to get. Like, basically, you don't need to do anything. Just put it there. They still look pretty for you. And I hardly need to water them in Australia. So yes, something really hard to have in your collection. All right, enough Ethereans. Let's move on to the philodendron. So I've been looking for this philodendron in Australia for the longest time. Like, I'm talking about years. Because they're so expensive, they're really hard to find. But I managed to get one here. So, there you go. So this is the Philodendron Billetai. Or Philodendron Billy Eilish. I like to call it that because why not? Um, look at this. The signature orange stem. It's 
very very beautiful um, this one definitely a tall one to climb because it's currently sitting on a broken tripod stick basically so yeah again I'm waiting for the self-watering pot so I'm not reporting anything just yet so I'm just gonna let it sit in here for a little bit longer and this is the newest leaf no that's not this is the newest leaf you can see it's a little bit lighter than the other darker one yeah this one has really weird structure at the moment um, definitely needed to put a torsion in um, you can see the stem is really bizarre because it's got so skinny and it goes fat so it's definitely something going on when the person was growing it um, but it has super long area roots I thought this one was one of the leaves and it just have no leaves but no it's a area root area roots popping up everywhere so it's desperate for a torsion so I'm gonna be doing that very soon I currently just have a broken tripod stick setting here just to have this for this video basically um, so yeah that's that I am very happy that I finally got my hand on this although I can't bring it back but it's okay um, they are also uh, the variegated version and it's not that hard to find here so I'm still in hunt for one so I will let you guys know if I find one very excited for this one collection Billiton Billiton or Billy Eilish all right, next up, we have another one that I have never seen in Australia. This is the Philodendron Rain of Fire Varigata. Okay, there you go. Um, look at this. Look at that structure. Look at the leaf. Look at the shape of leaf and the variegation. It's really, really interesting. Um, it's a little bit creamy, but also yellowy. So it's a combination of yellow and cream variation, I guess. Uh, it's sitting in, the other day I actually would take it out and it's sitting in just orchid bark and chunks of moss which is fine for me, uh, it definitely keeps it moist so I don't need to do anything just yet because again, waiting for the plant pot so it's going to stay here for a little bit longer um, I actually thought this one was going to be bushier but not really I think it's a, a tip cutting from the mother plant that the seller has so Basically, you just have one side, so I cannot wait to actually grow this and make it bigger because I need another one. I want a bushier one, a bigger one. So maybe I'll go find another one. I don't know. I have also brought some of these Kiki Pays I got from Australia. Um, I'm testing these out. I have no idea if these are going to work, but I did put a few dots on this plant and the Bilitai and uh, a few other plants that I have. I just want to see if they will actually work and grow because most of the plants here they only they're only one plant and I really want to propagate them uh, obviously. If they do work I will do a video and telling you guys maybe updates on that okay. Next. All right continue with the variegated plants we have a iconic Monstera Thai constellation. Look at this one. You can't see me now. So, <laughs> this is massive, okay? I've never seen one this big. The one I have in Australia is like one third of the size. Like, I don't know how long it's gonna take to grow into this size. But look at this new leaf over here. It's so beautiful. Look at that. It's massive. Like, so beautiful. If you have seen my plant tour Taiwan edition, then you will see uh, the other Monstera Thai constellation. So, yes, this one is definitely prettier. And I think I got this one from the shop that I got the other one. Um, this one was sitting there for a long time. They were both in there when I got the other one first. And then I saw the website and they still have this one. So I was like, you know what, I'm taking this one. I have seen some seller actually use um, peanut shell as a soil. It was eye-opening for me because I've never seen that before. Um, yeah, it was really interesting and obviously that makes sense because peanut shell, they are from peanut and it's plant-based. So I guess there's nutrition in there, so that works. So yeah, I am definitely going to buy some soil and mix it up my own because the weather is a lot more humid here. So obviously you can't have anything too heavy for them. So yeah, some of the plants actually came in dirt. I was just like, oh, okay, interesting. So I definitely, I report those already. So no dirt for these plants. Okay, next. Alrighty, everybody. It's time for unboxing therapy. Yes, I bought a Hoover. I also bought a fan. 
well, it's, turn, it's, it's turning to a uh, home appliances unboxing therapy. <laughs> Random, they all came in appliances box. Okay, so we are going to open up this one first because I just want to open this one first. Oh, okay. Let's see what we have here. This is something too tall for me. Whoa, there we go guys. So this is a yellow bag variegated alligator, I guess. Um, but this one is in really good condition, obviously, dead leaf. That is very normal because that's how alligator works. So that's totally fine. And I think um, it's gonna be living in my bathroom. Most of the plants are living in my bathroom because it's humid, it's bright. So this one is gonna be going there as well. Um, Definitely expect this one to be a little bit bigger, but it's fine. It's pretty. I like the variegation. It's different to what I've seen in Australia. Let's open up the span I bought. <gasps> oh, okay. Why does it look like this? That's not great. Okay. This one is definitely in the wrong position, but look at this. Oh my god, look at that, that is stunning, wow, that is, that definitely needs to be um, reorganized, oh my god, there's so many dead ones already, I am just going to cut it off right here, because that pissed me off, okay, it's okay, it's okay, it happens, but see, again, they don't pack it properly here, I have no idea why, so this whole Plant, just go into this box. There's no protection in here. No protection, okay? But thank God it was only travel for one day. But this is a philodendron uh, Vermont Varigata. Yes, this is beautiful. This is huge. There are so many stamps in here, can you see? Um, yeah, this is a really random totem. I have no idea why it looks like this, but there are roots going in there already, so I can't remove it. That is actually annoying. So, I will need to see what I can do for this one, especially all this broken stem. Oh my god. Oh god, okay, I can't do this on camera. This is too messy. Way too messy for this. Guys, alrighty you guys, thank you so much for joining me in this unboxing slash plant haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. I always have fun opening up plants, like it's just the most exciting things to me in the world right now. So yes, I hope you enjoyed it and if you do, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment down below which plant that you would like to get, if you can. How about that? Okay, I will keep you guys posted with all this growth. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram on thirsty underscore plant underscore baby. Um, I guess I will see you guys very soon with more new plants. Okay, bye!